Good morning, sweethearts. Happy Thursday. Many of you are feeling the octave shift. You're, you're releasing a lot of stuff. Sweet ones, if you allow yourselves to observe, you're going to discover that the outside world is showing you the self-deception of yourself that is preventing you from being all that you are. That is preventing you from being illuminated. Now, the new moon earlier this month was a new moon of liberation and of truth, unve unveiling of, of truth. The veils have been fully lifted. And this full moon coming up Friday, Saturday, is a full moon. It's a super moon of illumination. So right now, each of us are going through being illuminated to the self-deception that we hold within ourselves that is preventing us from being fully illuminated. Now, these self-deceptions that's being revealed to us are very subtle, sweethearts. And they can be presented in a number of ways. And this is where it is so necessary to get through these next, going forward, these next six, seven weeks, is to really allow yourselves to detail, make the personal impersonal, to use the outside world the presentations as a tool and I'm gonna I just got off of a phone call I've been up since well, 2 11 <laughs> divine intervention and and have been going non-stop with this kind of stuff since since then and the call I just got off of the physical job presentation and the comment was made when they, they when they were explaining the situation was that the people the customers were really deceiving people good morning Kathy to Karen big hugs and blessings sweethearts and so when you can make that impersonal and this is this is what I encourage them to do it's like Step away for a sec, honey. Detach. Make it impersonal. Detach your emotions to your job. I said, your passion is music. That's what is the passion of your heart. What you're doing is not music. And so, because right now, sweethearts, it is so necessary and important because we are creating upon the silver, the golden platter, if you will, of the new grid. And the only way to create and build upon that platter is to take action. Now, so many of us, you have been in a space of stagnation. You have been in a space of not enough confidence, self-confidence and belief in yourself to reveal yourself to yourself, to reveal yourself to the world, to come out of hiding. And the planet is being bathed with a great amount of self-confidence energies. And you are being asked to step out of that procrastination of following the passion of your hearts. Now, am I saying go out and quit your job? And go dedicate yourself to something that can put you into a space of struggle. No, I'm not. But even no matter how small it is, and this is what I encouraged this sweetheart on the phone. The self-deception of his customers will stop when he stops deceiving himself. And he's deceiving himself in the way of in no way, shape, or form has he taken a step to rekindle the passion of his heart and to follow that which is his music and the, there's never enough time there's never 
but there is enough time, sweet ones. And this is what subtly is being shown to you where you are deceiving yourself from following the passion of your heart. Well, I have to have a job to make money to survive. That doesn't mean you can't take a small step and spend an hour practicing your art or your music or cooking, whatever that may be, which is your passion. That which makes you come alive when you're doing it. That which... Makes you feel as you do when you're having an orgasm. On top of the world. Free. Good morning, Warlito. Good morning, Denise. Good morning, Bruce, Sherry, Heather, Kelly. Big eggs and blessings, sweethearts. And that is the self-deceptions that are being shown. But they're subtle, sweet ones. And they're being shown to you in the outside world and your experiences and what is being triggered and coming up for you. You know... This full moon is going to illuminate you. And as much as it illuminates you, it's going to continue illuminating all that which is not serving you. Serving the true nature of all that you are. And that is including your that is including the passion. That which Twitter paints your heart. And that which Twitter paints your heart has nothing to do with another person at all that which twitter paints your heart is the dream of your soul that makes living worth living and right now anything that is not twitter painting your heart is your own self deception and so it's showing you that which is holding you back whether it's your relationships and you're having an experience in your relationships. And you find a blow up. And now you're not talking and you really miss them. It's not them that you're missing. That's your self-deception. If you are finding yourself in a space. Where you are... Wanting to dance or sing, but you don't have money for the lessons or you have no equipment to practice your singing with or whatever it may be. Even if you take a small step and get out of that space of procrastination, the universe will meet you more than halfway. These energies that are bathing the planet in the planetary alignments that are assisting with amplifying the self-confidence energies, the energies of harmony, the energies of prosperity, the energies of abundance, the energies that are propelling you forward to pursue your purpose. And that purpose is to create on the new earth. And you cannot create if you're not willing to, to build it. The new earth is waiting for you to take that step, to create it and to build it. And right now there's been a whole lot of stagnation energies that's been presented over humanity for the past few months. And many of you are in that space and you're coming out of that stagnation, these energies especially after this full moon in the 1111 gateway you're really gonna find where you have been in stagnation it has been literally a rest period because you're coming into a space where you're going to be quite busy if you will building upon the new golden platter that you have been served no longer are you continuing to give it away now you're using it as the foundation that it is. And the only way to build up on that foundation. And right now these energies to take action. And right now these energies are supporting you to follow the passion of your heart. Your cosmic heart is leading you, sweethearts. How you doing, Jody, Kaz, Carol, Jasmine, your big hugs and blessings, I tell you. Hello. And it, these energies are not supportive 
of that which is not supporting the passion of your heart. So if you can detach the personal, sweet ones, to what is physically occurring for you, you will discover, when you make it impersonal, that it's just trying to reveal to you your own self-deception. And just like I told the sweetheart on the phone, when he starts deceiving himself that he is fulfilled and happy in this job to pay his bills rather than following the passion of his heart, when he takes that first step, he will find the deception in his customers will disappear. It will harmonize and it won't be there no more. And so these past couple days going into this full moon, liken it to a death. And this is your ultimate death because, again, this full moon is a moon of illumination. And you have to be willing to let the old die in order for the new to be illuminated. And this is showing you what of the old that you have convinced yourself still that you need to hang on to. Yeah. And Kaz, I feel like I've got no gods. That's because you're coming into a space, sweetheart, where you have to trust thyself. Yeah. They're there. Yeah. We're there. We're right here hand in hand with you. No longer are your guides going to be so much within and without as they're coming. Within and above, they're coming without and, be and, and below, if you will. You are your God. And we're coming together in unity to build together. But you have to be willing to trust thyself. And to, the only way to know thyself is to trust thyself. And the only way to trust thyself is to know thyself. And the veils have been removed. And you're going to find after this full moon this weekend, and especially after the 1111 Gateway Sweethearts, you're going to find that so much clarity and deeper clarity and deeper truth is going to come out for you. And again, spirit works in subtle ways. And unless you're willing to allow yourself and give yourself permission to see the subtlety, you'll miss it. And when it's personal, you miss it. You have to be able to use everything as a tool. And see beyond it, around it, through it, below it, and above it. And you are not able to, the human aspect is not able to do that as long as it's personal. And how you doing, Carrie? Big hugs and blessings. Beautiful. And so, <laughs> dang, Mama, I love the confirmations I get. <laughs> it's my gift. I have a gift. I can see beyond the words of words and the worlds of worlds. I can see the trinities within the trinities within the trinities. The polarity within the polarity within the polarity. I can decode things in ways most people can't. It's my gift. And you each have a gift that is the passion of your heart to you. And that is what this is all asking you to, to pursue. Is to really surrender to the ultimate truth of all that you are. Your heart. To surrender the doubts, mm -hmm. the hurts, anything of the old. And the old was built on deception, sweethearts. And your journey has been one of uncovering and unveiling all the self-deceptions, including right now. And so, when you can approach what is being presented as the death of the old, as the new is, a bit, is being illuminated for you, and give your permission, self-permission to see the subtlety. 
and to make the experiences of the outside world impersonal that it's just trying to show you your own self-deception, you'll catch it much faster and quicker. That of the old has to be transformed and whether that, has, that transformation is by it falling away, by timelines collapsing, or whether it is by you neutralizing it and choosing to carry it forward at a completely clean slate and merge those timelines, that's what's occurring right now. But all the deception that those were created in, from in when you were in frequencies where you, give me the right words, Michael, please. When you were in spaces of lower frequency where you were not aware of the necessary karmic energetic circumstances, if you will. In other words, your miscreations. You're in a space of just bringing them back to where they can be released or transformed in higher frequencies of truth of all that you are. So they're created through all that you are rather than all that you were not. Good morning, Lizette. How you doing, beautiful? Heather, I have so much love right now. I'm crying with joy. Beautiful, sweetheart. And so, sweet ones, really love yourself and each other through what is arising. And, and really allow yourselves to use it as a tool to see the subtle self-deception of yourself. Because it's never what anyone is doing to you. They're always doing it for you. And as long as it's personal, you will miss the subtleties. And you will not see your own self-deception. It will still be somebody else's fault. Somebody else is to blame. And those are our own self-deceptions. And right now, those things that up until this point, you could not face for whatever purpose as you've been healing and transforming along your journeys. Now you're ready to see it. You just have to give yourself permission to surrender to it, to yourself. And anything that is not supportive of the flame of passion, which is the light, in your heart is being revealed. Anything that is not supporting you to go forward, that is preventing you from going forward, that is keeping you in a space of stagnation and procrastination is coming up to show you. And if you can make it impersonal, you will see the self-deception being revealed. And that self-deception is just showing you what is stopping you, what excuses, what behavior patterns, what energetic blockages are preventing you from surrendering and pursuing the passion of your heart, which is your purpose on the new earth. That is the new leg of your mission. Because you're creating and you're building from the passion in your heart, that of which all that you are. And if you're not following the passion in your heart, then you're not creating from all that you are. And the new earth you create and you build from all that you are. And if you're not following your passion, you're self-deceiving yourself. And that's what the universe is showing you. It is illuminating the self-deception as much as it, so you can release the old, so it can illuminate the new for you. So you can step into the abundance and the prosperity mm -hmm. and the blessings of your eternal divine birthright. Because it's all here right now. You just have to match the frequency, and you're not able to match the frequency 
until you step out of procrastination, until you take that step, no matter how small, to pursue the passion of your heart. And that is what is going to be released up through the weekend in this full moon, sweethearts. That is what is being presented. That is what is being released. And that is what is being illuminated. Your light and your darkness. Hand in hand, side by side. And by merging the two, you're going to be, be propelled into the ultimate dream, the passion of your heart. And the universe will meet you more than halfway. So allow yourself to feel, sweetheart. To feel is to heal. And allow yourself to not judge that which arises. And allow yourself not to be hard on yourself and beat yourself up when you become aware of your own self-deceptions that's being revealed to you. And step into the power of all that you are. Allow yourself to be illuminated, sweethearts, because it's magical. And your mind cannot wrap around that which you're being propelled into. Embrace the magic, sweethearts. I love you. Big, big, big hugs and blessings, sweethearts. Have a magical Thursday. Bye-bye now.